Good evening, I'm Scott Sanborn. Tiffany O'Donnell has the night off. Eastern Iowa is not letting its guard down in the wake of the Boston Marathon bombings. The Johnson County Bomb Squad today inspected a suspicious package mailed to the University of Iowa hospitals. The squad determined there was no threat. The box contained tea, ginger, and a greeting card. But they're not taking any chances. Just last week, a mail testing facility in Maryland intercepted letters addressed to President Obama and a U.S. senator that contained ricin, a deadly poison. A Mississippi man is now charged in that crime. We had CBS 2's Jason Hackett check out how often these types of threats happen. He joins us live in Cedar Rapids with his findings. Jason? Scott, because of the Postal Inspector's Office, over the past 10 years, almost 2,000 people have been arrested for sending suspicious packages. It's the job of the office to tell what's real mail and what's real suspicious. Letter carrier Darren Wagner always has an eye open. When we look at a package, we know what it's supposed to look like and when something is out of place. Wagner says he's alert from the moment he picks it up. If a package is a certain type, if it's over a weight or if it's or if it's unusual, we separate it from the rest of the mail. Letter carriers like him serve as the initial line of defense, but when the risk is too great, Postal Inspector Ron Jewell steps in. We're federal agents, just like the FBI, the DEA, the ATF. Only our agency's been around longer than all of those agencies combined. Often using a variety of tools, he looks out for signs that range from the subtle... One that doesn't have a return address on it. ...to the more dangerous. That it's leaking. You know, maybe it's leaking a powder or a, another substance. Or it has oily stains on it. It smells. Since the anthrax mailings back in 2001, postal inspectors nationwide have investigated more than 54,000 pieces of suspicious mail. Fortunately, all the cases they investigated turned out to be a false alarm or a hoax. I think we've got a pretty good grip. I don't see any major concerns right now for, for the agency. In addition to legitimate threats being rare, the Postal Service says the chance of a random threat to the general public is low. They're mailing it to go to a particular person or a, a particular business. Even so, if something doesn't look right, they urge you to speak up. Most people's instincts on that are, are pretty good. And the post office says you shouldn't just look out for suspicious packages, you should also look out for sus suspicious people here at the post office, especially here in the drop-off area during collection time. We're covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids. Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.